Okay, I've tried to make this video three times now, and I'm going to do it real quick here. I'm trying to explain how creation, light, causes the effect of gender or human, which leads to the mentalism, which leads to creation again, okay? So here we go. Ever wonder how it all works? What kind of structure it's made out? Okay, I've said this before. The Anu is what we consider the black hole today. Okay, the Anu is where we reside. We are within the Anu. The Anu is within us. As within, as without. Uh, as above, so below. Every maxim you can think of, or axiom, or whatever. Every saying you can think of. The Anu is uh, the surfactant that holds everything together. It is the conjugate. Um, one thing that holds everything together. That is everything. Anu or An is the divine personification of the sky, supreme god and ancestor of all deities in ancient Mesopotamian religion. Anu was believed to be the supreme source of all authority for the other gods and for all mortal rulers. And he is described in one text as the one who contains the whole universe. He is identified with the North Ecliptic Pole centered in the constellation Draco. Yada, yada, yada. You can think of... These are all depictions of the Anu right here. Our heart. Our heart has seven heart, mu seven muscles. radiation of our universe, like the temperature of our universe, the background radiation of our universe is the result of, of the black hole universe we're in absorbing, uh, you know, uh, plant photons or, or what's called, you know, virtual particles on the outside, right? So this is the Hawking radiation is, is the concept that when particles are being produced in the vacuum, that are... But what Nassim is saying there is that what we see as a microwave background is our event horizon. Yes, we reside within the Anu. The th same thing that resides within us. Fractal upon fractal upon fractal. And for some reason I have an odd feeling that the Mandelbrot set has something to do with it or it is proof thereof of the fractalization or the way in which you can keep looking inward and you can go outward infinitely but it's bound within a finite structure just like squaring the circle and i say this because doesn't this oddly look like the mandelbrot see that further proof this is the orion nebula again that i just showed you look like the mandelbrot image of the central region of the orion nebula a black hole with 200 times the size of our sun lurks there. Four bright stars light at center. There's five actually in there. It's called the trapezium open star cluster. <clears throat> That's where the Barnard's loop emanates from. And if you follow the Barnard loop trajectory, our solar system is on that. Loop. Another photo of Orion Nebula. And here's the Mandelbrot. Okay. Not only that, here's the Mandelbrot again, the Orion Nebula. See it? Proof that the light is what's depicted here above the Tree of Life in this Akkadian or Assyrian or uh, Mesopotamian uh, petroglyph. See?
Same as that cross on top of that skull and crossbones. There's the Barnard's loop, which is a Fibonacci spiral, by the way. And, by the way, the iterations of the Mandelbrot are on the same trajectory as the Fibonacci spiral sequence numbers would be. Meaning that every iteration, uh, within an iteration, begins on the numbers, uh, you know, in line with 1, 1, 2, uh, 3, 5, 8, 13. You know, that's the Fibonacci sequence. And the closer you get, the phi ratio, or the, the larger no the number gets, the closer you get to the, the perfect golden ratio, 1.1618. This is why there's a pine cone in the Vatican. I've said this before. So long and short of what I'm saying here is that through the light, the light in the dark creates energy eddies, the anu, or whatever you want to call them. We reside in that anu. The anu resides in us. It's our hearts. It's our it's our atoms, it's our structure, it's the structure of everything. From these, this clay, I build a pyramid. Same, as, same clay as we, we are built from. You know, you could think of it as a literal or an esoteric or a uh, spiritual thing. But the spark gap, the creation of atom painting, the Aten, all on every church is a steeple. And at the top of that steeple is a cross. Symbolic of us when we create, when we recreate the Creator, when we complete the great work. Right here is a very famous painting. There's the solar boat, or the pineal light right there. And look at this. There's the full card of the tarot, the very first tarot card. <laughs> what are they looking up at? They're looking up at the light. It says if we are serious, star serious, looking at Osiris or Orion. Now I've already read you the, the definition for Anu, but An, the indefinite article before words beginning, one loan, single loan, and born, only begotten, and horn, unicorn. But on every church steeple is the cross, symbolically laid out in front of us, everywhere we look. The hero's journey. Did you know Bethlehem means the house of bread? The house of bread is considered our head, or the arch of our head, or the sun, the path the sun takes across the sky is the same. I mean, so iteration upon iteration works on all levels. I hope that made sense. Thanks, guys.